Okay, so now we're going to do apparent wind, and we're going to start with experiment six, comparing resistance shapes. So you're going to need four long rods, four small frames, and two large frames. And you're also going to need two pieces of thin cardboard that are about the size of a postcard, and I find that manila envelopes work well. You're also going to need one long axle, a hair dryer, and some tape. So first you're going to take one of the postcard pieces and you're going to fold it around a long rod as it shows in the image. What I find is easier is to measure the width of the long rods and then make those measurements with a pencil and then fold it over those so that you can, you can get the folds tight. So now we have four tight sides so you can cut it off. Make sure that the side with the hole that's closer to the end, you see how there's a side with the hole that's farther, make sure that this side is facing up the same way it is in the image you can leave that hole sticking out and then you can fold this around and then you can tape it. And if it's falling off of the long rod, you can always tape it to the long rod. You wanna make sure that it has sharp corners and then you attach another long rod. So now for the second cardboard piece, you're going to fold it into a teardrop shape, tape this side closed first, and then tape it onto a rod. You don't need it to be all the way in, you can tape it close to the end, and then we can attach another rod to the top. You might want to tape both sides. Okay, so now we have this with a square shape around it, and we have this with a teardrop shape around it. And now we're going to assemble this framework. And we're going to start with one short frame on the bottom. We're going to stick two long frames into it, like this. Then we're going to add one more short frame right here. Then we're going to take the long axle and with the stop on the left side, stick it in the corner like this. Then we're going to put it through the fourth hole on the side with the hole that's farther from the top. In the image it looks like it's the third hole, but that actually seems to be too long and it hits this bottom frame. So we're going to put it through the fourth hole. Then we're going to put it through this front top corner hole in the other short frame and stick the short frame right here. And to make this axle stay, actually, we should add an axle lock. And we'll add the axle lock right here. All right, and then we can add the other short frame on the top, but we're going to need two anchor pins, one on this back corner, and one on this back corner. And then we'll add the short frame to the top. Okay, so now we have this mount and we're gonna alternate between this shape, the square shape, and the teardrop shape. So we're gonna start with the square shape and we're gonna blow wind at it from at least 30 centimeters away. So plug in your hair dryer and then let's start to blow. Okay, let's try it with the other one now. So we're going to take this off and we'll replace it with the other one. Put it in the fourth hole again. Make sure that the bent shape is facing towards you or facing towards the blow dryer. And now let's try this again and see what happens. So you probably noticed that this 
shape, the square shape, got blown back farther and more than this shape, the teardrop shape. And that's because the square shape creates more resistance and there's more turbulence. So it gets pushed farther back, whereas the teardrop shape has creates less resistance. The wind can go right around it, so it doesn't get blown back as much. So now we're going to move on to intermediate wing with the teardrop shape. So first we're going to blow air on the nose of the teardrop wing. And we're also going to look at what happens when we blow the air from the side. Okay, so if you noticed, the rod with the wing doesn't just return to its resting position, it actually moves forward a little when you blow it from the side. And now we're going to try with the shape that birds and airplanes use, which is not a teardrop shape, but it's a shape that's flat on one side and then kind of teardrop on the other. So let's make that shape. You're going to need another piece of cardboard and you're going to tape it together the same way you did with the teardrop shape. So let's tape this edge together. And then you're going to flatten one side of it by pressing lightly on the bottom so that the bottom is flatter. 